Welcome to today's tutorial, today we will learn a very important command that is array. The array command in AutoCAD is the magical command you will find yourself requesting a lot while working on AutoCAD. This command helps create a pattern of objects ranged in the following manner. Polar arrangement. Rectangular arrangement. Path arrangement. You can find all these commands under the modify section of the ribbon panel. Let's explore the array type individually. The first one is polar array. The polar array is the most used of these, and the command corresponding to it is error polar. If you type error polar and hit enter, it will activate this command. This command will help you get the following done. Notice how nicely we copied the reference object and displaced copies around the circle. This is what the polar array will help you do. We got figure 2 and figure 3 from figure 1. Before the use of this command, you will need a reference object, it could be anything. To use the polar array command. 1. Click on its icon, shown above, or type error polar and hit enter. 2. Select the reference objects and hit enter. 3. Specify the center point of the array. You will then have access to the following tools, where the most interesting for now is the following. As you can see in the image of the polar array we created above, we have six elements. You can enter the number of items you need in the provided box shown on the image below. The maximum fill angle is 360. You can decide to rotate items on the circle or not to rotate them. Figure 2 shows rotated items, and Figure 3 shows item not rotated. The direction features help you rotate items clockwise or counterclockwise. This makes more sense when the fill angle is less than 360 degrees. The associative feature unites all items in one block. The following image shows a polar array with six items, fill on 180 degrees. The next type is path array. The path array corresponds to the command line array path. It works just like the polar array, but will distribute objects along a path like on the image below. And now we have rectangular array. Last but not the least, the rectangular array will help place objects in rows and columns as shown below. These commands are important and need to be mastered. You will have to play with their respective features to see how high or low their potential are. Feel free to comment your question in the comment section, they will be answered at the earliest. 